Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. This week I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison with the girls that are 22 months old and with Jewel who is 16 years old and show you exactly where we are and how their development is going. And a lot of people have been asking, you know, how much bigger are they going to get and are they going to fit into the harnesses and, you know, that type of stuff. So I just want to do a side by side comparison. The reason that I got Jewel is because Jewel is 17 one and she is about the height that the girls are going to mature at. The girls' mothers were 17 one and I think their sire was 17 one or 17 two. So they should all be about the same size when they get full grown. And another year or so, they're gonna be, they're gonna be pretty close to their size. But I wanted to be able to have Jewel walk next to them and not walk off and leave them, or you know, the girls walk off and leave her when they're, you know, when we're doing the side-by-side -side training. So I'm gonna bring everybody over. I'm gonna tie them up to the hitching post and there'll be a side-by-side -side comparison and we'll be able to see exactly, you know, where they're similar and where they're different. The girls are 22 months old and I've had them since they were five months old. And if you don't remember or you haven't seen, let's go back and look at a brief video of when I picked them up. Definitely grown a lot, but weren't they super cute? Before we bring them over, I just want to say that I, I received three pieces of fan mail and I appreciate it. Uh, just keep them coming. I look for them and anticipating them, so please keep them coming. I had one of my viewers tell me that they were that they were down and um, didn't have any emotions left and that type of stuff. And you just gotta. You know, life's funny. You just got to get up and keep putting one foot, one foot in front of the other every day. And if you're in a situation that's, or an environment that's toxic or harmful to you, then, you know, only you can choose to get out of it. So uh, there's people out there that love you. There's people out there that will take you in and, and help you emotionally and uh, physically and just don't ever forget that there's people out there that love you so uh, life's short none of us are getting any younger uh, none of us are guaranteed tomorrow we just went to a falconry meet last weekend and one of the falconers uh, ended up committing suicide and uh, I didn't know anything about it and he just kamikaze his truck into a tree apparently and his kid got tangled up with the wrong people and got into drugs and ended up getting shot and killed and just the world's a crazy place. Unfortunately, his son couldn't get out of that situation he was in. He hadn't hit rock bottom. So if you're in a bad situation or a bad environment, you know, only you can choose to get out of it. There's people that will help you, but you got to get out of it first. So anyway, let's get these girls over here and get them taken care of and just remember that there's always people out there that love you. I can't appreciate how much bigger they've gotten, but 
when neighbors or when friends or somebody comes over and they hadn't been here in months, they say, golly, they've gotten so big, but I just don't see it because I see them every single day. It's like if you watch your puppy grow up or your child grow up, you just don't recognize how big they've gotten and you hear it and you're like, golly, they've gotten big. So I know they've gotten bigger, but they just don't, they just don't seem that big to me, but, but they are, I mean, they're, they're almost 1300 pounds now. So let's bring Jewel over, bring the babies over, and we'll look at the similarities. All right, I've got Jewel over here on the wash rack. I was treating her scratches and uh, spraying them down with hydrogen peroxide this morning. They're doing real good. She's still kind of favoring her back left leg, but I think it's kind of a habit. Um, her back left leg is healing up better than any of them. So let me go over here and get her real quick. <laughs> that is one sexy girl right there. Now I'm going to bring Grace over. I watched a movie last night, and the girl in the movie it was a it was a short western movie back back. It was a short western movie, and the girl's name was Grace Ann. Over over. Over, over. Come here, Grace. Step forward, come on. Jean thought she was going to be the dominant girl, and she challenged Jewel, and Jewel let her know otherwise that you're not the dominant one. Let me get Jean. Come here. Whoa. Come on. Come in behind, girls. Come in behind. Come in behind. Come in behind. Come here, Jane. Come here, Jane. Jane. Whoa. Whoa. Her lines are just unbelievable. All right, so looking at, let's go over here to Grace. So looking at Grace, you can see the definition in her rear. Hers is, Jules is just more refined. And if you look at Grace, same way. If you look at her front hoof and then look at her front hoof, they just don't have the size yet. I can't get them any closer because uh, they're used to exerting their dominance and they don't want to get any closer. But her feet are a lot bigger than hers and her legs are a lot bigger. They're a lot thicker, and hers are a lot spindlier. Again, kind of hard to see, but you can clearly see it. Their heads don't look that different. Her head is, a, is more slender. Her head is more filled out. But she's got that big arc on the top of her neck where the girls don't have that yet. Their necks are still flat. But if you look at her front shoulder and then look at Jean's or Grace's rather, they're coming. They've got the definition. They're just not there yet. See, this is a more of a bone right here. There's not a there's not a muscle on top of it yet. And over here, there's a big muscle laying right on top of that bone. And same with back here. You know, there's a big muscle back here. Big muscle in her hips. And if you look at her back legs versus her back legs, they're just a lot skinnier. 
Her feathers are a lot more pronounced than hers. But the biggest thing is, let me do a hand comparison. Here's my hand on Jean. And here's my hand on Jewel. But as far as size, you can see they're real close in height. Grace is a little shorter, but Jean and Jewel are real close to the same height. She's probably an inch or two shorter, which she always has been. She's a little bit more baby face in the in the face. She's just not maturing as fast as Jean is, but you see that in siblings. One will grow faster than the other. Whoa. So there they are, all three of the girls. They're all looking good. Houdini over here is trying to untie herself. Her mom was a Houdini. But they look real good. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how big they've gotten. It's really neat to be able to see them standing next to a mature horse. But they're all super sweet and they're all super beautiful. And this is a pretty cool deal to have them all standing here together like this. See, Jean's always testing Jewel, and Jewel's always got exert her dominance. And Grace here, just so sweet. So next week, we're going to be getting her trimmed. We'll be getting a barefoot trim on her and getting her feet in order. And the week after that, we're going to be getting her teeth floated. So I'm looking forward to that. Once that gets done, we'll start ground driving her, and then we'll start hooking the babies to her and just growing from there. So... I appreciate you watching. Glad you got to see all the girls together. And as always, remember who you are. Be kind to those around you. Stand up for what you believe in.